Hi, my name is Kwekwe, I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm gonna be answering the question, what is the best magnesium supplement to take? I'm gonna go through a list of seven of them, and for each of them, I'm gonna briefly describe it and give some pros and cons. And also at the end, I'll give you my personal favorite, which is not gonna be included in these seven, but I'll tell you why at the end. Before I delve any further though, I just wanna mention that sometimes we get too hung on which, of mag which magnesium to take. My opinion personally is that any magnesium that you find is better than no magnesium at all. So if the one that you really want to get or the one that is recommended for you, you don't seem to find it or it's too expensive, don't be too hung on the type of magnesium. As long as you're getting magnesium into your body, you're going to get some benefit. So with that said, the first one I'm going to talk about is magnesium citrate or citrate as some people pronounce it. Now magnesium citrate is a combination of elemental magnesium and citric acid. Now, citric acid is a, is a naturally occurring chemical in citrus fruits, oranges, tangerines, you know, things like that. Now, some studies point to the fact that magnesium citrate is one of the most well-absorbed magnesium preparations. In other words, it is very bioavailable. So due to its high bioavailability, magnesium citrate is typically used as for magnesium replenishment. That is, people who are low in magnesium can be taking magnesium citrate as a replenishment. The only disadvantage is that magnesium citrate tends to have natural laxative properties. So you want to be careful if magnesium citrate is what you go with. It may affect some people more than other people. So if you are sensitive, that is something that you need to know. Matter of fact, in high concentrations, magnesium citrate can be given as a laxative. I've seen it used in people who are preparing to go have a procedure. They give them a whole bottle of magnesium citrate to drink and it kind of cleans them out. The second one on my list is magnesium glycinate. Now, this is a combination between magnesium and glycine. Now, glycine is an amino acid, which is obviously required in protein synthesis. It is found abundantly in protein-rich foods such as fish, dairy, and meat. Now, interestingly, glycine by itself is used as a dietary supplement to help improve sleep and to manage a couple of inflammatory conditions such as heart disease and diabetes. For that reason, magnesium glycinate is promoted to help with anxiety, depression, insomnia, and stress. Magnesium glycinate is also very well absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract or from the digestive tract, so it has a very high bioavailability. The next one, number three, is magnesium L-threonate. Now, magnesium L-threonate is made by combining magnesium and a compound called threonic acid. Now, threonic acid is a breakdown product of vitamin C. It's a very soluble product, so that makes it also another one that is very well absorbed. Now, one unique thing that magnesium L-threonate has is that its ability to cross what is called the blood-brain barrier. Magnesium L-threonate is the one that is able to concentrate the most in brain cells. For that reason, it is promoted for things that require brain function. So for example, cognitive function, memory, things along those lines. Magnesium L-threonate tends to do or better, slightly better than some of the other magnesium preparations just because of its ability to concentrate in the brain by crossing the blood-brain barrier. Number four is magnesium oxide. Now, magnesium oxide is a combination of magnesium and oxygen. Now, magnesium oxide is one of the most popular ones. Typically, when you go into every grocery store, every pharmacy, that is the type that you're most likely going to see. I actually did, as I was preparing for this video, took a look around my, my local grocery store and all the, the magnesiums that they had on their shelf was magnesium oxide. Ironically, it is one of the least absorbed uh, from the digestive tract. That is, it is very poorly absorbed. Now, because it is so poorly absorbed from the digestive tract, a lot of the times you wouldn't see it as the number one recommendation to replenish magnesium. In other words, if somebody is magnesium deficient, typically that will not be the go-to magnesium. It is used rather for short term for treating uncomfortable digestive symptoms such as heartburn, indigestion, and things of that sort. But don't forget what I said earlier, any magnesium is better than no magnesium at all. Even though it has poor absorbability, you are still gonna absorb something. So if that is the only one that you can lay your hands on or if that is the only one that you can afford, please do, just go for it and don't um, you know, be fancy and looking for all this l and glycinate if those are not available. Number five is magnesium malate. Now magnesium malate is a combination of magnesium and malic acid. Now malic comes from the Latin word malum, which means apple. So you can, you guess it is, malic acid is found in high concentrations in fruits such as apple, such as grapes, uh, watermelon, and some vegetables such as broccoli. Magnesium malate is also very well absorbed and therefore it is one of the recommended ones for improving magnesium in your system if you are magnesium deficient. Now there are some reports that magnesium malate is a little bit gentler on the stomach. It has less of a laxative effect. So if you're particularly sensitive, that may be the one to go for if it suits your needs. Magnesium malate is sometimes promoted to help with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome. Number six, magnesium taurate. Well, this comes from a combination between magnesium and taurine, which is also 
for another amino acid. Now, several studies show that plasma taurine concentration is inversely proportional or inversely related to fasting blood sugar in people. In other words, the more taurine you have in your plasma, the less your fasting blood sugar. For that reason, magnesium taurate has been promoted uh, to diabetics to help minimize or slow down the progression of diabetes and also to help regulate their blood sugars. Now, magnesium and taurine have also been demonstrated, at least in rats, to significantly reduce blood pressure. So that is another potential benefit if that is what you're, you're looking, if that is what your need is. If your need is to bring down your blood pressure, magnesium taurine may be the one to go for. Number seven is magnesium sulfate, which is a combination of magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen. Now, this is what we normally call Epsom salt. Now, due to the very unpleasant taste of magnesium sulfate, it is not a go-to medication. People generally don't take that orally. It, people rather use that as a soak. So you soak you know, tired, sore, achy muscles to give you some relief. It may also sometimes be included in some skincare products, you know, like lotions, body oil, things of that sort. Now, there's one school of thought that believes that if you soak in Epsom salt, you absorb some of the magnesium through the skin to kind of help build up your magnesium levels in your body. That is a school of thought, but there is not definitive evidence that the amount that you absorb through your skin is enough to replenish your magnesium levels if you are magnesium deficient. So no high level overview of the seven. Now this is my personal favorite and my personal favorite is actually what we call a triple magnesium complex. Why settle for one when you can get three? There's one magnesium product that combines the glycinate, the citrate, and the malate. So you get the advantage of it being very well absorbed and all the other benefits that the malate, the citric acid and the glycinate that I talked about also confer on you. So that is my personal favorite. Uh, I'm going to put a link to some magnesium products in the description below if you want to check it out. But that particular one is also going to be on there if you want a combo. High level overview of which magnesium to take. I hope you found it beneficial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Stay blessed. Catch you on the next video.